Okay, dokey. Time to rumble in round two of this league. We are still trying to crush people ASAP. And our hand looks fairly sweet. We get to lightning at something and eventually shred memory for Exum. No, oh, keep it. I don't think we want to play Lightning X in turn one since we can't even play Exum if we drew it as things stand. So I'll play this. Go get a Swamp since we need double black to transmute the Shred Memory. And we'll see what's going on with our opponent. Ah, Affinity. Well, I guess it might not be Affinity. It might easily be one of the Metal Crafty type decks. Which is, you know, it's totally fine. They did not do anything, so I'll just play this Carnarium. I suppose it's not inconceivable I'm about to walk into a card called Raze, which is like a one mana LD spell where you need to sacrifice a land. Um, or something along those lines, but it seemed incredibly unlikely. All right, insulate neonate seems fairly sweet. I think I should just go ahead and transmute this now while I have a little bit of time. Er, uh, that does mean the jig is up, so to speak, but. What are you going to do? Now, so obviously, what we can do here is stop on my upkeep, Lightning Axe. Unfortunately, that means we would, we would waste a mana. Because if we were to Lightning Axe, discarding Stinkweed Imp, we could dredge in an attempt to hit Dragon Breath. But if we wait until our upkeep, we can, you know, make another draw, uh, play Neonate to try and hit something as well. So, like, we can, you can play Neonate to discard Stinky Dimp, then Dredge, then see what we do, so. Okay, Tormenting Voice. So if we Neonate, discard, Stinky Dredge, and then we can Lightning Axe this thing, discarding Crusher, and then Exhume. That is a sequence of plays that sounds pleasing to me. Obviously, it's so much better to get the Dragon Breath. Um, I would be really hyped to hit one. Oh, well, we did hit one. So obviously what we want to do is exhume first, and no wait we can't, oh dear, oh dear. No wait, we can't exhume first unless we hit one. Oh well, so I guess we have to lightning axe and then exhume to put the carapace forger back into play. But, oh well, what are you going to do? We don't have another one mana way to discard Crusher and reanimate it this turn. Because I would really like to make them sacrifice two permanents ASAP. I mean, like I say, they'll get back their their guy, but we, we get back a much better guy. With haste. A bit of a faff. But what can you do? Because, uh, you know, if we'd like Lightning Axed in our upkeep and dredged to not play this thing, we'd basically ended up in the same sort of position. I don't know, actually, maybe I should look at the sequence post video to see, to, to re-examine the sequence of events. In case I, like, probably just punted it horribly or something along those lines.
So they're planning to sacrifice two things and then trade, I suppose. So what do I what what do I feel about that? Do I want to try and hit a lightning axe? I probably probably want to do that. So I'm gonna discard this a bit not dredge. Seems reasonable. Okay. So the reason I didn't like discard this is because I already knew that we had a peat bog at least, and we already have like four mana available, so we're actually just gonna be casting crushers soon. Uh oh, probably would have discarded it if I knew we were drawing like another one, but Okay, this is also fine, I, th I think. We're still getting our four for one. They have a few lands in play, but not a whole lot else going on. And I get to play Carnarium. into peat bog, into swamp, hard cast crusher next turn, or the turn after. And we obviously have this dragon breath to help out. So I think we will, in fact, bring back our stink weed this turn, just so we can have a guaranteed play. We obviously could have played Swamp in order to play Faithless Luton from the Graveyard, but it didn't seem all that useful. Disciple of Vault is a good one. They're letting they're letting me block this. Okay. I am on board with this plan. I will not dredge. And we even have two Dragon Breaths, so we can do back-to-back -back hasty crushers. Hooray! So they're on this Disciple of the Vault version, which I've seen around. It's not the most common version. But, you know, it seems pretty sweet. So I guess we want Chainer's Edict, since it hits 4-4s. Four give us some more time to set up. Don't think we want Duresses. I mean, it's, it's not a terrible card against them or anything, but I think we want Martyr of Ashes way more. Uh, I don't think we want Electricery, since it only hits Martyr. Uh, not Martyr, only hits Disciple. Uh, I think take out Manamorphos, since it doesn't do anything in particular. I don't think they have blue cards. Um, uh, no, that's not true. I did see Thoughtcast, but I don't think I want to bring in Pyroblast explicitly for that. But on the other hand, if they do have... If they do have some counter spells that they're bringing in, Maybe I do want some duresses or power blasts. Well, I think what I'll do is, like I still think Shred Memory is a bit slow in certain matchups. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a couple of uh, duresses since we know at least that they've got you know, the various prisms and stuff, so it's unlikely to totally whiff, and they've got Galvanic Blast and so on. And, you know, if they just don't have counter spells, it's not complete blank. And keeping up mana to py Pyroblast Thought Cast seems like a sort of losing proposition a lot of the time. This hand seems sweet. We get to Neonate to discard Crusher, and if we draw Swamp, then turn two. Turn two. Uh, 
No, I definitely wonder. I suppose this is like the main reason that Manamorphoses are in the deck, is that it's sometimes hard to do it on turn two, and Manamorphoses give you like an extra card to add to like the nut draw, so you can make it happen slightly more often. I don't think there's any particular reason to do it in step. We might as well just see what we draw. Well, I suppose at this point I might as well hit them for one. Because there's no way for me to like Dragon Breath them on this turn. I mean, the, our odds that draw specifically Swamp are fairly low, but... You don't play a deck like this to not hope to draw it. I don't don't think I want to dredge since I specifically need to draw, you know, something that can't be dredged in my hand. Well, there's a swamp, so now I can dredge to hope to hit the dragon breath. You even got like lightning axe to maybe blow out some kind of double block. Obviously, like if our opponents have something like, like Relic of Progenitus or Nihil Spellbomb or something in their sideboard, then you know this sort of got us. It's it's pretty difficult to beat a deck that's putting on like a very fast clock and can totally disrupt your game plan. But not a lot of decks can do that. I suppose. Oh, we milled a Dragon Breath again. You're so talented. Going for it. I mean, they obviously have something because they didn't... Oh, well, maybe not. So I guess they're going to block and Galvanic Blast again. But if they Galvanic Blast pre-combat... I can Lightning Axe, or pre-damage I can Lightning Axe. Okay. I obviously could have pumped this there, but I still want to leave this open for... Because, you know, that there, there are some things, like, I, the, the one damage doesn't matter, and this might matter. So... Mirror Enforcer, deal. So what do we have here? I guess... If I get stuck in first. Try and blow them out with a Lightning Axe, then play Stinky Nimp. Because we, we've got imps for days here, we don't... Need to like discard both of them immediately. And this also shows that they don't have any mana to use on a Galvanic Blast, so there's no way where they even come out of this remotely okay. <laughs> Crunch. Hooray! We won the match. That was pretty smooth.